Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about Python SciPy Exponential. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video. First we will learn about Python SciPy Exponential. Then we will understand Python SciPy Exponential Integral, Python SciPy Exponential Integral. After this Python SciPy Exponential Matrix. At the end, we will know about Python SciPy Exponential Regression. Now move to the first topic, Python SciPy Exponential. The SciPy.stats.expon represent the continuous random variable. It has a different kinds of function of exponential distribution like CDF, PDF, medium and etc. It has a two important parameters, log for the mean and scale for standard deviation. As we know, we can control the shape and location of distribution using these two parameters. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy.stats.expon.method name where parameter x it is used to specify the random variable q it represents the probabilities log it is used to specify the mean by default its value is 0 A scale it is used to specify the standard deviation by default its value is 1 it is used to specify the output shape. Now let's take an example and compute the PDF of exponential distribution. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing method expon from the library scipy.stats then importing numpy as np. At the end we are importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Execute the code. Now create an array containing 30 values using the method np.arrange. Execute the code. Then pass the above created data to a method expon.pdf to compute the probability density function of the exponential distribution with a value equal to 0 and 2. Execute the code. This is how to compute the pdf of the expon using the method expon.pdf of python scipy. The next topic is python scipy exponential integral. The python scipy contains a method xpi within the module scipy.special that is used for exponential integral. The exponential integral e i j is a specific function on the complex plane in mathematics. It is defined as a single definite integral of the ratio of an exponential function to its input. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy.special.xpi where parameter x it is an argument with a real or complex value out it is used for the function result. This is an optional output array. Let's take an example and compute the exponential integral. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np. Then importing module special from the library scipy. Execute the code. Now create an array of data using the method np.array and pass these four values 4, 1, 2, 3 to create that array. After creating that array, pass this value or array to a method special.xpi to compute the exponential integral of this array. Execute the code. From the output, we can see the exponential integral value of this four numbers is uh, of these four numbers are 19.6, 1.8, 4.9, 9.9. And this is how to compute the exponential integral using the method xpi of python scipy. The next topic is python scipy exponential matrix. The python scipy module dot scipy dot lin alg contains a method xpm that uses a paid approximation to compute the matrix exponential. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy dot lin alg dot xpm where parameter a accept the matrix of type array. Now let's take an example and compute the matrix exponential. Import the required method or library. So here we are importing module lin alg from the library scipy then importing numpy as np. Execute the code. Now create an array using method np.array and pass this array to a method linalg.xpm as a 2j into that array as a 2j into that array. Execute the code. The output shows the exponential matrix value of the array that we have passed to a method linalg.xpm. This is how to use the method XPM of Python SciPy to compute the matrix exponential. The last topic of this tutorial is Python SciPy Exponential Regression. An exponential model can be used to calculate orthogonal distance regression. The Python SciPy has a method exponential within the module scipy.odr for that. The syntax of the method is as follows. The above method doesn't accept any parameters. We can use it directly with the data. Let's take an example and compute the orthogonal distance regression. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np then importing module 
ODR from the library SciPy. Execute the code. Now generate X and Y data using the method np.lin space. Execute the code. Now feed the data using the method ODR.data that accept the two above created data values X data and Y data. Execute the code. Now pass the exponential model that is a ODR dot exponential with the ODR data that we have created above. As we can see here, the method ODR dot ODR create an object of ODR. Execute the code. Now execute the code object ODR dot run. This run method is also this run method is also called regression method. So execute this code. This is the orthogonal distance regression which is generated by method ODR of Python SciPy of the exponential of the exponential data. Before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detailed post about Python SciPy exponential on the website pythonguides.com. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about Python SciPy exponential and learn about how to compute the exponential and also learn about how to compute the exponential matrix, exponential integral. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.